All right, you already know. So Russia, Vladimir Putin, president of Russia, um, is allegedly, or reportedly, should I say, assembling 50,000 troops around the Kursk region in uh, Ukraine, which currently, uh, Zelensky, his forces, currently occupy that area. Um, however, uh, as I stated earlier, there's supposed to be 50,000 troops assembling to try to take the area back over, along with, out of those 50,000, reportedly, reportedly 10,000 North Korea forces from uh, Kim Jong-un. Now, um, the war has been going on for, what, at least two years? Thousands of lives have been lost. Countries have been affected, even ours, when we had these sanctions against Russia and uh, other countries as well. So none of this is good for the, really for the world's economy, right? And we also don't want this war to escalate. But uh, reportedly, per the USA Today, Donald Trump talked to, had a meeting with Vladimir Putin and advised him not to escalate the war. Putin has already run on record saying that he would float the idea of him talking to Donald Trump. Well, per his uh, per his cabinet, they're saying that this isn't true. They haven't spoken yet, so those uh, warnings may have been false. Now, look, let me give my honest opinion about this. I want the war to stop over there. Y'all should want the war to stop over there. And people try to say, you know, oh, oh why should you care? But y'all have to understand, we have this alliance with Ukraine, even though they're not, not part of NATO. If they were... We would be at war right now with Russia. It would be World War Three. The reason why we need this war to stop, and the reason why we need the war in the Middle East to stop with with uh, with Israel and um, the Gaza Gaza Strip, is because you don't want things to escalate to where armies are involved, and the air force is involved, and then if somebody throws out one tactical nuclear warhead, it's over. It's game. It's game over for all of us. You know, this isn't. The days of um, the early 1900s, even mid 1900s, prior to 1945, where you could have world wars and the entire civilization wouldn't collapse. I mean, now there's so many, so many countries that now have nuclear warheads that even if you throw the one with the smallest yield, you open up Pandora's box. So we really need to stay united all together. And look, I know a lot of people are uh, are mad, you know, and still upset about the about the election. Look, it's time for people to move on. We got to unify, and um, we, we we got a lot of other things that we need to be worried about right now. Like you said, the, the war in the Middle East. It don't, you may not think it affect you, but it is going to affect you, you know. And even when people say, you know, it's about it's unfair. He's in office and all. This. Look, what that got to do with what he had him being in office have anything to do with what happened down there in Tuskegee over the weekend? Somebody help me understand that. Here we are, the 100 year anniversary, a school that was built by Booker T. Washington, along with several other uh, historical black men. And you got people down there opening up with machine guns with you got people that's going to that went down there, you know, to try to check the school out. You got boosters down there. People just want to have a good time. But no, 16 people got hurt. One person passed away. Now they're saying the person who passed away wasn't supposed to be on the campus or he wasn't a student there. And also the person who was charged with federal, now federal, ha having a machine gun and uh, shooting 16 people, he wasn't a student there. But that that's not my point. That stuff like that's happening at a uh, one of the most historical places that we have. We need to worry about stuff like this, you know. So I just want to get my quick thoughts about it. I'm going to probably, what I'm more likely going to end up doing is just giving daily uh, updates on the war in Ukraine, you know, because uh, it's been going on for a thousand days and you know, and I really do feel like people like us, we do need to know what's going on, you know, with, conf with our conflicts out here globally. But I just want to get my quick thoughts about it. Tell me what y'all think.